We've been in our 30 days of thanks and praise, and it has been powerful. Because here's the thing, when you and I take our focus off of our problems and off of what we don't have, and then focus them on the goodness and the greatness of who God is and all that we do have, our attitude begins to change. Our outlook begins to change. And pretty soon our circumstances begin to change. Thanks and praise isn't a fix-all. Here's the thing. It's not a fix-all. It's not necessarily going to fix everything that is going wrong in your life. It doesn't change your issues. It doesn't make your problems go away, but it does change your attitude and your perspective. And that's what we are after during these 30 days of thanks and praise. And today we are taking a moment to thank and praise God because he is a way maker. He made a way and day after day, he continues to make a way for you and for me. Even when it seems hopeless, even when it seems dark, even when it seems lost, he makes a way. It's who he is and it's what he does. And today I wanted to share a story from Acts chapter 16. It's about Paul and Silas. They were arrested, beaten up, and then thrown into jail for simply sharing Jesus. The situation was incredibly awful. I don't know about you, but I can't imagine being beaten almost to the point of death and then being thrown in jail simply for sharing Jesus, the hope of the world to people. But we find them in verse 25, and their response to the situation is really interesting. Here's what it says in verse 25, and then 35 and 36. Around midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening. Suddenly, there was a massive earthquake, and the prison was shaken to its foundations. All the doors immediately flew open, and the chains of every prisoner fell off. Verse 35 and 36, the next morning, the city officials sent the police to tell the jailer, let those men go. So the jailer told Paul, the city officials have said, you and Silas are free to leave. Go in peace. What a response. I don't know about you, but my response in that situation would not have been thanks and praise. It would have probably been grumble and complain. It would have been anger, bitterness, and frustration. I might have wanted to quit sharing the gospel. I might have wanted to stop telling people about Jesus. I might have been defensive, and I probably would want to plead my case. But their response in this awful situation of being beaten and then thrown into jail was thanks and praise. And that response not only changed their perspective, but it literally changed their circumstances. See, they were content with being out of prison, or they were also being content with being in prison. Either way, they knew that God is good, and that's what they were declaring. See, they didn't let their circumstances dictate their attitude of praise. They didn't let their circumstances get them down. They knew God was with them and for them, and that he could make a way. And that's the perspective that Paul also writes from in Romans 8, 28. It says that we know that God causes everything. Another translation says all things to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. It's like baking a cake or maybe your favorite pie. See, some of the ingredients, they don't taste good by themselves. Just try it. Go ahead. Eat a cup of flour or maybe a tablespoon of salt. Try downing half a cup of vegetable oil. Those things are probably not going to taste good by themselves. But here's the thing. When you mix it all together, the good things, the bad things, the big things, the little things, all together, it bakes something that tastes delicious. And this is what God is doing for your life and your circumstances. You and I may not understand the pain that we're going through. We may not understand the circumstance that we're in and the giant that we're facing, but God is making a way and working it all out, mixing it all together and baking up something for our good. So today, thank and praise God because when we don't see it, he's making a way. Even when we don't feel it, he's working it all together for our good. And even when we don't understand it, you and I can trust him, thank him, and praise him because at the end of the day, he is good and he is a way maker. I'm gonna leave you with this verse to encourage you. Proverbs 16, verse three, it says this, commit your actions to the Lord and your plans will succeed. Commit your actions to the Lord 
everything, every action, every thought, every word, give it all to him. And the promise is there. You will succeed. Notice it doesn't say you won't fail. It doesn't say it's going to be all easy. It doesn't say it's not going to be hard. No, here's the thing. You will fail. It will be hard. It will be painful. But as you thank and praise him, as you trust him, as you commit all your actions to him, you will succeed and he will make a way.